Hello and welcome to the first in a series of jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver Basics training by Kinetic Media. My name is Jeff Batt, the head trainer at Kinetic Media, and in this session we're going to talk about starting a new project inside of Dreamweaver, um, specifically targeted for jQuery Mobile, and how you get that started with one of the uh, templates that's provided by Adobe, and uh, how easy it is. In these sessions we're going to talk about how easy it is to actually go in and create content um, inside of Dreamweaver and uh, to really take advantage of what Dreamweaver has to offer um, inside of uh, or when building a jQuery mobile application whether it be for a uh, phone gap or whether it be for just a, a web app or something like that so let's go ahead and see what we'll be learning in this session so in this session we're going to talk about starting a new jQuery mobile project as discussed and then we'll start uh, from a jQuery mobile sample in Dreamweaver I'll show you how to get that sample and uh, what you start out with in that sample as well and then we'll talk about uh, there when you're starting out with a sample you have an option of CDN versus local. We'll talk about the differences between that. And then also the uh, another option that you have is jQuery Mobile with Theme. So we'll talk about what a jQuery Mobile with Theme is and how you can actually take advantage of that. So this is the uh, first part in this series. So it's basically an introduction of how you go in and get these files and how you start working with these files. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of uh, Dreamweaver. And to take a look at these other or the other series in this video, you can go to Kinetic dash media.com uh, to look at other tutorials or to look at the uh, series other series in uh, for jQuery mobile or you can go to the uh, uh, your YouTube channel uh, youtube.com slash users slash Jeff bat zero one bat spelled with two T's so all right so let's go ahead and get started um, I'm gonna pull up Dreamweaver and when you're wanting to create a new project for jQuery mobile and Dreamweaver uh, when you first pull up either CS 5.5 or CS 6, this is the first and welcome screen that you see. Now you can use J or you can create jQuery Mobile inside a Dreamweaver CS 5 and CS 4 and CS 3. However, it, you don't have the code hints and you don't have the uh, the button options to actually build your jQuery Mobile application. So keep that in mind. But the first thing I want to do is click on the More section down at the bottom, and it will pop open with the uh, new documents as, uh, when you're creating a new document this is the window that you see in jQuery I'm sorry in Dreamweaver and then what I want to do is I want to start from a, a sample that Adobe has started with for jQuery mobile and that will just save me some time having to link the files and uh, I at least have something to, to start with and if I come down to a uh, page from sample I have a mobile starter section and in the mobile starter sections you have three different starters you have jQuery mobile CDN jQuery mobile local and then jQuery mobile with theme local now we're going to talk about the differences between that I'm first of all going to start jQuery mobile local is the first thing I want to see just so you can see how you start a project and what that project looks like so I'm going to select that option and then come over to create and it will actually um, create a, a document you can have this in just code view you can have it in split view if you wanted to see you don't really see the uh, view of what this go is going to look like yet um, <clears throat> you can if you wanted to go to live view you can actually take a look at it if I click live it will show me what this uh, starter will look like inside of my uh, Dreamweaver, um, but that's not always the case, or you don't always want that to happen at first. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck live, and I'm going to switch to code view. So I'm just looking at the code view for now. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is first of all save this somewhere because um, when I'm looking working with a local drive, you'll notice that it's actually pointing to files on my machine and I don't want that to happen or I want everything to be local um, on inside of a folder or something and so when I'm ready I can put this on a website somewhere so I'm just gonna hit control save on Windows or uh, command save on a Mac and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this sample project or sample mobile Create that new folder, and then I'm going to, as an you know, as the HTML standard, you usually want to save your first file as index.html. 
Now, what uh, Dreamweaver is going to ask me is if I wanted to copy all these dependent files because jQuery needs JavaScript files, it needs CSS files, it needs images to actually work with. So it asks if I want to copy all these images, CSS, and JavaScript files into that folder. Um, and because I want it to be local, so when I move these files from one location to another, all of what I need is inside of that folder, I'm going to go ahead and just click on copy. <clears throat> now you'll notice that the references to the CSS have changed because it's just going to my uh, the local location and also the references to the script, the JavaScript, uh, are also going to a local location. And let's take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my uh, folder here. And so I have my sample mobile here and you'll notice that there's my index file, my images folder. I have some images in there. I have JavaScript files. I have CSS files and more JavaScript files as well. Now, if I was to double click on this uh, HTML file, it will pull up with my browser. If you wanted to take a look at this to see what it would look more like a mobile, because this really is taking the entire screen. If I want to see what it was going to look like on a mobile. Then I may want to resize my browser a little bit so I can get more of a mobile feel to it. Now, <clears throat> what it starts us out with is a list. And on that list, I can tap anywhere and it will take us to a page. So going back here, I have, uh, I have a list of three pages and each, uh, each of those will actually take me to a different page. And so really inside of this HTML file is three pages and we'll talk about pages and how pages are set up. We'll talk about lists and how lists are set up and everything. Um, but that's what you get started with. Uh, you have a header, you have a list, you have a footer, and then you have uh, three pages that, these, that the list is navigating to. Okay, so that is um, basically um, the jQuery mobile project that you get started with. So let's talk about the other options that we have. The other one is CDN. If I go ahead and click on create here, um, let's save this project as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new folder and call this um, CDN example. And then I'll name this index. Now the really the main difference is that I didn't get prompted with, do you want to save this code somewhere? Um, the reason why is because it's the, the difference with CDN and local is CDN actually keeps the JavaScript files and keeps the CSS files with jQuery. So if those ever change, you automatically have the latest or you don't have to worry about moving those files over because if we go back into my, um, into my finder here and go to sample, actually it was CDN example, um, all I have is the index file, the index.html file. So if you don't want to worry about a lot of files, this may be the best way to go. But keep in mind that you can't really tweak anything about that code. Um, or, I mean, jQuery will make sure that that code always stays there. And so if you wanted to do that and have less files to worry about, CDN probably is the best way to go there. Okay, so let's talk about one more option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Control N or Command N on a Mac. And then I'm going to select jQuery Mobile with Theme. And this is local. So we're going to have those files in there. Now, the main difference between this one, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save this into my desktop somewhere. Name this index. It does ask if I want to copy the dependent files into that folder. In this case, yes, I want to copy those. But uh, it looks very similar to the uh, other local version, uh, except for there's one extra file here. And that extra file is the jQuery mobile theme dash one minimized uh, CSS. That's if you wanted it to get more into the customizing of the theme. There's a lot of stuff that you can do without that CSS file, so keep that in mind. Uh, but in this case, you can actually go in to the code itself and you can start tweaking it as well. So that's what the, uh, the theme does is it uses that one extra CSS file um, to, to place it inside of there. And you can then have a little bit more flexibility with that. It is the minimized version of it, so keep that in mind that you may want to unminimize it and uh, to be able to actually make it readable so you can uh, adjust it as well. So, 
Okay, so that is how you start out a project inside of Dreamweaver and how you can either create a CDN file that points uh, the JavaScript to the jQuery website or you can uh, actually create a local file or a local file with a theme as well. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, when you're previewing this on a mobile device, what happens when you're starting from one of these Dreamweaver examples and how to fix that.